Hi there, Billy Bowman here, ex-student of Kuiper College. I've been asked to identify the significance of Kuiper College Overtree Seas Trips on myself. Over the years I've been on many a trip, trips, but um, two of particular significance are my trip to Rarotonga in Year 12 and my trip to Tahiti in Year 13 with um, paddling and wakarama. Um, these trips have been invaluable as far as building as a sports person, you know, you've got to you've got to learn from the best, the Tahitians, you know, they're the best in the world. You've got to learn from the best to become to become the best, um, and you've got to paddle in the big races to 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 know who you're competing against worldwide, and that that comes from you know races like Round Raro paddling 30k um, in Tahiti. You got some of the big long distance races, open ocean. Um, but, but I think the true value of these trips has, for me, has been um, the sort of the character building side, the sort of the eye-opening side of it all. Um, Rarotonga, my first trip away, uh, away without the family. Um, so, you know, it was a time where I had to sort my own stuff out, get, get it all organised, look after myself, um, mature up a bit. Um, yeah, so that was an, an incredible experience, you know, the cultural side. Um, uh, the races, my first real big races. Um, but And then Tahiti, I was I was head boy during year 13, so I had a bit more of a leadership role during during Tahiti. So I went with, with I think there were 30 students, so I was sort of trying to, trying to you know, help out with um, Mr. Foreman and help out Miss Bravery, you know, try, um, Sorting out all, all the other all the other kids, um, so that was invaluable as a leadership leadership sort of um, experience. And when you when which is which is more difficult when you're dealing with people who who are even more out there com comfort zone. You know, kids kids that ne not necessarily ever been overseas have um, they're way out their comfort zone. They can't speak the same language. It's sort of it's it's great character building whether you whether you're trying to help lead or whether you're trying to whether you're just out of your comfort zone you've got to mature up a bit um but tahiti was a great experience culturally as well because it will, you go there and you don't you you're a little bit naive down in new zealand you live in a quite a perfect world but um tahiti is a bit you know it's a third it's not it's not a first world country. You, it's eye opening, really. Um, but culturally, still, still there. You get to see a few, you know, the different sides of the cultures and stuff. Um, but yeah, incredible. And so that's been really invaluable. Um, sort of the character building sides of it, and just the maturity, the eye opening, the cultural side of it. Um, um, and and really, some of the it's been quite door opening for, for myself, um, doing some of those big races, especially with paddling and, and sort of building on on my, as a sports person. I now paddle for um, the University of Auckland and over the last two years I've been, been racing with the team in, or going over for a trip to Hawaii, um, which is the Queen Ali or Kalani race, which is the world's biggest long distance regatta. So it's sort of it's right up there in the in the big in the big leagues and um, so for, and we get we get that fully sp sponsored by the university. So that uh, the paddling and the and the trips and the stuff has has opened those doors for me. Yeah, uh, and you know being able to paddle for a university with fifty thousand students is is pretty incredible. So and. Yeah, I, be, I believe that um, the the Queen Lily trip is is one that the school would be in, is interested in doing in the future. Um, that was that was incredible, um, the most sort of awesome trip, and I don't use that word lightly. Awesome trip, um, humbling as well. I mean, the the sheer size of the race was you know, a paddle for ten minutes to get to the start line. It's just absolutely incredible and then you're, you're doing you know ticky walks down the road you're really you're, you're fully immersed in their culture it's incredible um yeah so so for me it's been character building building as a sports person door opening all the you know the trips that all started from cobra college trips school trips yeah
Cheers, thank you.